Hey guys, Mark here from Lex Moto. It's been a fair few years since we've done a ride out video, so what better way to start than on the RSS that we launched a couple of weeks ago. It's had a lot of attention already and a lot of comments from you guys wanted to know just how it rides. So we thought we'd treat you all, take you out on a nice Devonshire sunny day. Let's do it. So there it is, the Lex Moto RSS looking absolutely glorious right now at the time of recording this the price of this bike is 2899 and 99p plus on the road which is as you guys know an absolutely fantastic price for a bike like this the build quality of this bike is literally as good as they come on a 125 this is an absolutely cracking bike so yeah as I'm saying, first things that you're going to notice about this bike is the build quality and its general sort of size. It's quite a big, a big sort of bike. There's a lot of smaller 125ccs that you'll jump on and you, you automatically just feel like you're a massive person. Um, but this bike is a real substantial bike. It's built by the same guys that do our LXR for us, which as you guys know is one of the biggest sort of 125cc bikes out there on the market. Um, and that's why you, everyone loves it so much because it really does give you that big bike feel if you're just getting into motorcycling and you want to you know progress through then having a bike like this really teaches you um, how to ride on a road and have you know some secure road presence i don't want to waffle on too much outside of the bike here i think we should jump on it take it out and i'll talk through all the specs and all the points of it and hopefully you guys get a bit of a feel for the bike let's do it all right let's get the gloves on safety first you know how it is guys never ride without gloves absolutely mad person if you do so here we go turn them on as you can see right away we have got a five inch tft screen in front of us here which for a 125 cc bike is absolutely amazing that is crystal clear and you know just an absolute massive step up from lcd displays yep and still on the display up here there's a little button on the side here that allows you to change your trip and cycle through there's some different menus different settings that you can put in um, you can even change the way that the dials look on the front here and customize it really to however you want to ride it which is a really good feature of the rss um, especially when you're riding a lot looking at your screen a lot um, having it as clear as possible just helps you concentrate on the road ahead and that's what we're all about enjoying the ride instead of worrying about little things so let's get on with it I reckon let's do this okay pulling away nice and easy clutches nice and light very easy for me to move with throttle response as well straight away feeling good up on the front lever here we have an adjustable brake front brake lever so you can switch it between four different settings um, to suit your hands if you have like smaller fingers you can make it closer if you have bigger hands then further away make it as comfortable as possible salute mr magpie I don't know if any of us any of you guys do that as well do you guys salute the magpies or is it just me being really weird anyway i think we'll keep doing it just in case you know gotta be uh safe and sorry there we go down through the gears so we're in the back country lanes at the moment very cruisy through here just sitting at 30 absolutely no problem whatsoever not sure if you guys can hear in the helmet at all but it's a nice little burbly exhaust note coming from the engine there the, the exhaust we skip behind her here so yeah this bike's sitting on 17 inch wheels um we have 17 inch rims with cst tires a uh, little fact for you cst are the world's largest manufacturer 
of motorcycle and bicycle tires actually um, so they really know what they're up to they've been doing it for a long time now and um, these road tires that this RSS street is on they just feel very secure and I can really trust them in the corners when I've been riding this around for the last couple of weeks um, very well balanced and yeah just a, a pleasurable ride on top of on top of this bike might need to put a bit of heat into them first before we start really <laughs> flicking them around I don't think we'll be going that fast though but never know our first corner glide around all right let's put a bit of throttle on lovely just opens right up so the seat height on this bike is actually 810 millimeters which is i'd say sort of like in the medium to uh tall range of a motorbike or for a 125cc that is um, which is really good for a lot of our riders like i said earlier you want to have that big bike feel and um give yourself that presence you know i'm sat up nice and tall here i can really see ahead on the road uh, which just gives me the confidence to, to ride forward and look around the corners um, and the seat itself is actually incredibly comfortable it's a big sort of like bench seat that is you know hanging off by itself there's a, a rear monoshock right underneath which is doing a great job of just soaking up these potholes across the country lane and yeah the actual riding position of the seat is perfect for me i'm 5'10 5'11 if you uh, wear the right shoes and yeah i can definitely see someone um up to six foot plus six two maybe being comfortable on this size bike and yeah up on the front we've got so talking uh, a bit through the bike we have got 300 mil discs on the front um, just single discs more than enough for a bike like this um, then we've got 240 mil on the rears we've got a combined braking system uh, so anyone that doesn't know what that is it basically means that if i apply a bit of the front um, if i apply the front brake it will give me a little bit of the back in there too uh, which really helps with sort of skidding and controlling the bike um, it just prevents the, the front from like locking up and catching it's it's not an abs system so it won't pulse on and stuff but you'll still feel a lot more secure um, and safer stopping with a combined bra braking system like this um, so yeah the brakes we'll do a little brake test later as this is my first ride out we don't really have like a proper schedule and i haven't really set my route if i'm honest so we're exploring this all together um, but yeah i'd love to do a little brake test in a bit we'll find a nice road to do one on also want to show you guys uh, the top speed of this bike so we'll find a, a nice fast road soon and see what we can get out of this uh, I think I weigh around like 80 kilograms just so you know for reference and here we go pulling up the hill no problem whatsoever um, just really hoping that this microphone You are picking up what I'm saying. Okay, so we've got a bit more of an open road here. As we come down. Oh, cyclist. So yeah, I'm into sixth gear. This bike has a six speed gearbox which is very very useful um, anyone that's ridden a five speed will always tell you that they wish they just had a sixth a sixth in there just to 
really get as much as they can out of the bike. Um, the six gears allows you to always make sure you've got you're in the right sort of power band at the right time uh, and generally give you a nicer or, or more of a top speed as well you don't want to be topping out on your fifth gear at like 60 65 whereas this bike we should be able to get up to 70 on it and the gearbox itself feels very very smooth uh, I'm someone that rides uh, a 700cc bike so jumping onto a bike like this I can feel that the quality uh, and the comparison it really is there um, to my 700cc bike which is very very good which is a, such a positive thing to feel and as I go down through the gears now so smooth like I'm saying it feels incredibly light very very well balanced bike on top of here so, you know side to side so moving back from the brakes sorry guys one second Got a, we've got a mate behind on the KTM so moving back from the brakes we've got telescopic front forks and as I mentioned earlier a nice rear monoshock here we go let's open her up Got time? Yeah, I'll do it. Ooh, that was sick. <laughs> so yeah, easily we were hitting 62 there. In front of the dash, there's a tiny little fly, fly screen, which just really helps protect that that screen itself. Um, buffets the wind off it or any chips and stuff. Protects it. Um, not really going to help with any sort of aerodynamicness, but. Yeah, a nice little feature and it looks good too. Sat on sitting on the front there. It really looks like the the part of the front there. Handlebars not really risen too much, just a slight rise on them. Uh, perfect sort of width here. Very very comfortable. I'm not leaning too far over the bike as I would be on a sports bike, um, and I'm definitely not leaning sitting too far upright that I don't feel like I can have a bit of fun on this bike. And then moving back we've got the 14 and a half litre fuel tank here which is a real decent amount um, this should be knocking out uh, over 100 mpg uh, I haven't tested it uh, with the miles per gallon just yet um, but if anyone has if they'd like to drop it in the, the comments below uh, please let us know But yeah 14 and a half litre fuel tank on a on a 125 that means you know you should be able to ride this for most of the week if you're commuting on it um 10 20 miles a day it should last you a good week go on then oh. <laughs> yeah yeah we'll see what happens next time. <laughs> all right Let's head onto the motorway. Just going to check the GoPro just before we head out. Alright then, I just checked the GoPro. Turns out that if you film in 4K, it absolutely rinses the battery. Which isn't great three quarters of the battery in 15 minutes but hey, hey hope the show must go on let's get on the motorway here we go 
flying up through the gears here. Rev limit is at 10,000 RPM. And we're up into sixth. Check your shoulder. Hopefully you can still hear me guys. So we're heading up. Uh, it's a pretty flat road and I'm already at 70 right now. Looking to 72. And yeah, I think I'll I think I'll stick at that. So there we go, we've got 70 miles an hour. Absolutely no time at all, and now I'm sat here. 68. Comfortably on the motorway here, just outside Exeter. And I'm going to take us now up towards Holden Woods. There we are, just comfortably overtaking lorries on the motorway. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll check back in when we get to Telegraph Hill. And for anyone that knows that is a very steep hill known for pretty much killing off every caravan that tries to make it to Tor Bay because it's so steep. Bloody hell, it is windy today. I don't know if you can hear that. All right, see you in a sec, guys. Just getting on to Telegraph Hill right now. Uh, a nice 50, 52 miles an hour. Still feeling very safe on here. Very comfortable. There we go, we've got some broken down cars. Sticking at 50 miles an hour, this, this thing hasn't slowed down. Uh, sometimes with a lot of 125cc bikes coming back this way, the bike really struggles to get up the hill, you know, and drops back down to about 30 miles an hour. But 60, uh, 50, sorry, is, is plenty fast enough. Coming up this hill, fifth gear, no struggles whatsoever. Beautiful, I say you've passed. You have passed on the RSS. The Telegraph Hill Challenge. Should we make that a thing? Every ride out. The Telegraph Hill Challenge. Come on. Get around the corner. Lovely little cafe there. Oh, some people on their bike test trying to get their full license. Don't know why I've gone northern. Maybe I'm meant to be northern. Alright. Here's Holden Forest up here. Again, I'm just going to... Oh, caravan. <laughs> Sick. Should we make that like a new... We can make that a little studio. Sorry. i just got to check that out. Look at that. Obviously being dumped up here. Guys, back in the studio. Should we bring this back and make it a little film? Our little film studio. We could We could bring this around with us. We could do a tour of the UK, the ride out tour of the UK. Wonder how many people would turn up to that. Zero. <laughs> oh God. All right, let's check the GoPro again. Make sure we're still actually filming. I could just be talking to nobody right now. Right then guys, turns out on the last 10% of the GoPro battery, so a little lesson learnt get a spare battery and bring it with you so I'll have to rattle through the last parts of this bike uh, we should be able to cover everything so the engine itself we haven't really spoke about that it is a 125 cc four valve um, liquid cooled as well uh, single cylinder engine which is producing a whopping 14 horsepower which is pretty much up there uh, at the top end of what's legal on a 125cc bike and you can really tell even now in fifth 
but just the revs were a little low then it just pulls all the way through it really does feel nippy this bike um, and it is actually the most powerful 125cc that we do and I can really tell you know just even from like I said someone who rides uh, 700cc bikes a day out on this even using it full time and I used to ride to work 50 mile round trips on our 125ccs I wish I had this back then bloody tracker get nice and tight there we go got the mirrors here uh, they don't stick out past the handlebars which is great they stay nice and tight um, to the side nice round, round mirrors giving that retro feel uh, which the design of this bike is sort of inspired from a retro scrambler um, from back in like the 70s 80s from even back in the 50s to be honest when they were scrambling around um, yeah it's just a, a real modern take on them it's so nice to to have a bike that has that 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 sort of look that aesthetic but with all the modern touches you don't have to worry about you know doing all your carbs and all that crap just ride this bike and she'll be good to you obviously look after her general sort of maintenance on this bike you know you have to just keep the chain clean um, check your oils your brake levels all right guys so we've run out of battery on the GoPro fortunately so a uh, little road test ends here but hopefully you guys enjoyed the ride and got to find out a little bit more about the RSS uh, as I mentioned absolutely incredible bike to ride really it really is a pleasure to ride and look at great styling great bike and any questions that you have just put them in the comments down below we'll do our best to answer everything that you want to know hopefully this first ride out's been all right and you want to see another one yeah let us know what other bikes you want us to do a ride out on hopefully we can answer all your questions on those too so until then guys we'll see you on the next one cheers <laughs>